All right, well, here we are back in the storage shop, this time with some lighting. And we're gonna remove some dents from these bowls today. In fact, the 25 inch bowl doesn't really have any dents, just had a little nick, bumped that out in 10 seconds. However, the 28 inch bowl appears to have two larger dents, one with a possible slight crease, but mostly just minor cosmetic denting. You can see that showing up on the camera pretty clearly right there. And what I'm gonna do is take this sandbag, create the proper shape using another area of the bowl that's similar. So for instance, if the dent is here, I'm gonna shape it using the same area over here, get the sandbag nice and set up so that it's almost like a mold and then use my mallet to bump it out. This is a rubber mallet. You can pick them up at most big box stores, but they usually come with this flat end. And if you hit a copper bowl with this flat end, you're gonna get kind of a smile effect. You're gonna get some half moon crescent type dents. So what I did, and I did this many years ago, was took this mallet and went to an angle grinder or a bench grinder, or some sander of some sort, and just round it over the rubber. And over the years, it's actually smoothed out even more just using it. But this allows me to bump the dents out and have more of a, almost like the ball peen side of a ball peen hammer. The sandbag helps to keep the shape, gives you something to back on. Uh, you could use a smaller sandbag, such as like a, a bean bag size or a sandbag size for something you keep in your toolkit. You just need something to hammer up again so that you're not over correcting. Uh, this sandbag will work great for this because it's on a bench. It's a larger dent. I can push it down. I don't need to hold it up against the bowl like I would if the bowl were inside of the timpani frame. So this will actually make this job a little easier. So just to go over it, sandbag, modified mallet, and you can use a rawhide mallet, which won't usually give you that smile, but I never would recommend taking a rubber mallet unmodified and hammering the bowl. So this isn't meant for a lot of force. I let the weight of the mallet fall into the bowl and to remove the dent. I use this very lightly to pound it out, listening to the tone of the bowl, because we want it to sound solid when it's up against the sandbags. That means it's to the proper shape. But here's I'm gonna find a similar spot on my bowl. So just right next to it. So my dent is right here where my hand is. I'm shaping the bowl to the sandbag directly underneath. All right, in fact, there are two dents here. There's a crease and it's right over where the sandbag is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and yeah, that's good. Go ahead and turn the bowl and now we're sitting with this large crease, taking the rounded side of the mallet, just gonna drop it in on the crease. Because this isn't a circular dent, it looks like it was maybe hit by a wall corner or something straight. I'm more or less going along with the dent, and just a little bit outside in an egg shape. And the idea is to more or less camouflage the dent rather than completely remove it because the copper actually stretches when it gets dented. There are ways that we can shrink and expand metal, but we don't want to do anything drastic to this bowl. So we want to camouflage any straight lines. Once it feels solid, I know I'm hitting the sandbag. I know it's taking the shape that I want it to. And I'll kind of work my way around the edges. The main goal being not to pound it out too far. We do have a slight crease on the outside of the bowl, but I think that's gonna be permanent. Uh, that could be polished to hide it. You could also take the sandbag, put it on the inside, and hammer from the outside. But really, I'm not terribly worried about this. The other thing I could do is take a metal hammer, like a ball peen, and actually peen that dent out. I'm gonna change the angle here for a minute. I'm not going to be able to see much. This is going to help me to get a little more finesse on this dent. <clears throat> so right now I'm using the light similar to the way 
a car painter or a drywall finisher would use. Running the light at a low angle to see if I can see any more dents. I can still see this crease fairly clearly at certain angles, but it's not terrible. That to me feels pretty good. It's a little worse for wear, but we got to keep in mind this bowl is made in 1957. It's going to have some wear and tear. I do plan to uh, clean it up. I'm not going to polish it or anything. I'm not probably not even going to relacquer. Uh, in fact, I've considered stripping the lacquer and just letting the bowl naturally tarnish. But that's a decision we'll make later. But for now. I'd say the dent is just about out. I'm going to do just a little bit more work from the outside because I think I popped it out just a tad more than I'd like. Yeah, I think it's just going to have that scar and that's fine, but the shape of the bowl is good. So now I'm going to find that other dent. We have one right here where my finger is right there. Can make it out in the light. Put it on my sandbag, scoot it just slightly over. Shape my sandbag, turn this over my I would say I had it on the first or second hit, but I'm just kind of forcing the shape out just a little bit more. Feels pretty good from the outside, maybe just a little bit over. Put my hand behind it here. Happy with that. All right, I think all the dents are gone. I'm just gonna run the light over stuff. And it's far better than it was when we got started. <laughs>